Fishing shallow cover is one of the hallmarks of being a bass angler. Well, today we're going to go over five tips to make you a better visible cover angler. Hi there, welcome to the Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers. Before we get into today's video, make sure that you punch that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, drop a comment, like, or share the video. I appreciate all the engagement here on the channel, so thank you very much. Fishing shallow cover is something that bass anglers love to do. And no matter the time of year, there's always fish that are shallow. Now, obviously there's better times than other, and in certain times of the year, more fish tend to go out deeper, but you can always find bass shallow, especially if you have thick, visible cover, whether that's a brush pile, um, a lay down tree that's in the water, docks, whatever it might be. So today we're gonna be talking about five things that you can do to help yourself catch more fish off a of visible cover, especially if you're fishing a pressured lake where you've got somebody down the bank and they may have hit that same dock ahead of you, but you're gonna be able to follow them up and catch that fish that's still hiding there. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as you can see here, we're approaching some visible cover. We have a great big uh, bush that has fallen into, wa into the water and it's died and we have just a ton of limbs underneath the water. It looks very fishy, you know, there should be a bass there. So we want to approach this the best way possible. The setup that I'm using today, I have a medium heavy seven foot three jig rod with a bait caster on here, braided line, cause I'm gonna be into this heavy brush and I don't want it to break off. I have a quarter ounce Bitsy flip jig with a structure bug trailer and everything is in natural colors, green pumpkin, green crawfish. So as I approach this, the first thing that I wanna keep in mind is I want to be going into the wind. The wind oftentimes can help us, but oftentimes it can hurt us. I have better boat control if I'm facing into the wind. So if you notice the water is rippling this way, I'm gonna go ahead and put the nose up into the wind so I can approach quieter and also have better boat control. As I approach this brush pile, the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the outside edges. The bass that are most active, most likely the feeding, are gonna be on those outside parts, but I don't wanna spook any fish that are farther in. So this is where a quiet presentation is a must. I don't want a huge splash. So I could roll cast, I could pitch it if I have good pitching skills, or if the water's dirty, I can get up there and flip it and drop it in carefully. So for my second part of my five steps, I'm gonna go ahead and target the best place in that particular brush pile. Usually it's where you have some trunks coming together, where you've got some sort of intersection of multiple parts of that bush. And I'm gonna go throw it right deep in there. Can't be afraid to really get that deep inside of that brush. The third part is I'm going to go ahead and swim the bait by the horizontal cover. So any place where I have limbs that are hanging out into the water straight, I'm going to swim this right alongside of that. Uh, docks, this is a perfect time that you're going to be swimming that bait just under the dock and see if there's any fish that are holding up tight to that cover. So that is the third step, the horizontal presentation. After I'm satisfied that I have fished all the horizontal lines on that particular visible cover, then I'm going to go ahead and then fish vertically. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in and let it drop. Where No matter where I'm at, let that bait drop straight down on a slack line. I want that bait to fall perfectly vertical. And I'm going to go ahead and go through the same piece of cover, the same piece of cover, and I'm gonna check, do those fish want it in a vertical presentation? The worst thing that we can do when fishing visible cover is to put a single cast in there and then take off. We've got to present this bait every which way to let the fish tell us how they want it on this particular 
day. Bring that rod tip down, always be watching because a lot of times on that vertical drop, all you're going to see is the line just twitch a little bit. It won't be a huge bite. And the fifth part to make yourself a better visible cover angler is to make sure that you use repeated casts. I don't know how many times you've probably seen it where you see somebody going down the shoreline, they come across a really awesome piece of visible cover and they put one or two casts, boom, keep going. One or two casts, keep going. There are times where you may have to put 12, 15 casts on that single piece of cover before you get bit. Now the reason being the fish may want it at a certain angle. A lot of times when you make repeated casts you eventually irritate that fish into biting. They were in a negative mood uh, where they didn't want to feed but when you kept dropping this bait right in their face over and over and over and over finally they've had it and you're like forget it I'm gonna go ahead and eat this thing. It'd be a lot like if I came up to you and I kept you know flicking into your eyes, acting like boom, right into your eyes, and you'll flinch and eventually you're going to get sick and tired of it and you're going to do something about it. So repeated casts are an absolute must when you've got great visible cover. And the other thing that you want to do when you're working a, a piece of visible cover is after you catch one, don't assume that's the only one. Go back in there again, especially when you're fishing uh, summertime, late summertime, fall when those fish start to school up again. You could have multiple fish on the same piece of cover. My personal record is I pulled three three pounders off of a small stump in three consecutive casts. Three three pounders, three consecutive casts, and this stump just sticking out of the water was only maybe eight, ten inches in diameter, and I could only see it go down about a foot or so. It was in pretty shallow water, but three fish. So repeated casts is something that will definitely pay dividends um, over the course of your fishing season. I hope that these five tips help you out when it comes to fishing visible cover. One is to make sure to go ahead and hit those outside edges first to see if there's any aggressive fish out there. Two, go ahead and then target what you feel is the best spot, the most likely spot to have a monster bass sitting in there. Three, go ahead and fish it horizontally, swimming that bait along the cover. The fourth step is to focus on vertical drops. And then the fifth and final step is make sure you make repeated casts even if you catch one, go back in there, fish it again. There might be others in there as well. So I really hope that this gives you something that you can try the next time that you go out on the water. And don't forget, make sure to encourage somebody today because you never know how you're gonna change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.